In this video, we're going to learn how to create content types in Strapi. If you want to learn more, you can watch my longer videos on how to get up and running with Strapi and Docker. Let's move on to creating our own content type. Say we want some kind of old school guestbook like every GeoCities website used to have. We want the user to be able to enter three bits of data. Their name, some kind of message, and their email. We can do this all through the admin panel using the default Content Type Builder plugin. We can see the existing content types, user, role, and permission. So let's click Add Content Type in the top right to get started. We need to give our content type a name. Strappy advise that it should be singular, so we'll call it Note, as in guests leaving notes on our web page. Click Save, and now we need to populate it with fields to store the relevant data. Click Add New Field, and you can see the different types of data supported by Strappy, and some examples for their use. Let's use a string for the name of a note lever. We'll call this field name. I want this field to be mandatory, but I also want to allow the user to be anonymous. So I'll quickly go to the advanced settings tab, enter a default value of anonymous and check the box indicating it's a required field. By clicking add new field here, I can move straight onto adding the next field. This time, let's use the text type to store the message that's being left. We'll name this message. I don't want this to be empty again, so I'm going to indicate that it's a required field using the advanced settings. Let's also click display as a WYSIWYG to enable the nice editor in the Strapi admin panel. We're going to see this later. Finally, let's add one last field to store the note leaver's email address. We'll simply name this email and mark it as a required field as well. So now that we've finished adding our fields, we can click continue and then click save to save our content type. Now we wait for our Strapi server to restart. When it's done, our content type is ready to view through the admin panel. Click on our new note content type in the navigation panel and you can see an empty list of notes. You'll notice our free fields plus the ID. If we click add new note, we can create our first note through the admin panel. Let's use my name and leave a message using the markdown editor we talked about earlier. We'll set an email and click save. Now you can see our newly created note in this list. If you want to learn more, you can watch my longer videos on how to get up and running with Strapi and Docker.